Teachers at Meadstead Primary Academy worked hard to help a pupil with delayed speech to pass his one-year phonics test. He'd previously been told he might not be able to do the test because of his speech, but he passed with flying colours and even went on to stand up in front of his entire class and give a speech, something which his mother thought he would never be able to do. Um, they joined us at the beginning of last year, weren't mm -hmm. it? Right at the beginning they came from um, another area and their mum was very keen that they had a, a really inclusive education. We did a lot of speech and language therapy with Chris, um, with some of the staff trained around speech and language to try and build confidence um, and get to talk to people. We had a few problems with him approaching staff to start with um, and through the year it developed his reading and his writing skills brilliantly, um, leading him to pass his phonics check as well at the end of year one, which his mum got told he would never pass it in his old, old school. This young man now is thriving. Um, he did come below in all levels um, from his last school, um, but he's now moved into year two. Um, he's on target to pass um, all his key stage one assessments. He now participates in after school activities. He is part of some of our sporting teams. To be shortlisted for an award like this in Barnsley, it's just amazing because it just champions what the staff are doing in the school day in, day out, which they don't see as being anything extra. Um, but that's the ethos that's expected when staff come to our school. Starting a new school can be a daunting experience for any youngster, but Darton College went above and beyond to make sure Alex Gurney, who has autism, settled in well. With the support provided by staff at the school, Alex has been able to remain in mainstream education. We're delighted to be nominated. Um, we try really hard at Darton to be as inclusive as we can. We have a significant number of learners, probably four times the national average number of learners who have statements of special educational needs and their needs range from being autistic to having specific learning difficulties and we've tried to create provision in a, an environment at Darton that means those learners are able to access a mainstream curriculum and uh, access a mainstream school with, with their peer groups. We think we create a really positive, inclusive learning environment. Um, so our learner behaviour, uh, we believe, is exceptional. Um, we have a nurture provision, so we have some provision where it allows us to work with some groups of learners who have additional needs in a smaller setting, with perhaps fewer teachers on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, but all staff are very well aware, and we think we know our learners really, really well, so that we can actually make sure that the provision that we put in place meets their needs as best we can. We're delighted to get a nomination in a, an environment where um, inclusion isn't necessarily high on uh, everyone's agenda. We're delighted that we get pos such positive feedback from parents uh, and ultimately I think our goal is always to make sure that we see our learners as individuals, we support our families wherever we can uh, and of course help them in, in any way possible, constantly striving um, to be better um, in all that we do. Goldthorpe Primary was nominated for helping a little boy to speak. Parent Donna Saunders says the level of one-to-one -one support given by staff enabled her child to find his voice after previously being unable to speak when he first started at the school. I have nominated Goldthorpe Primary School for Proud of Barnsley Awards. It's been fantastic for all three of my children, um, but especially when Alfie came. Um, I already thought Alfie had maybe had needs and he, he came here and he were only here for one day and after school the staff actually asked me to come in for a word. Alfie couldn't speak, um, it, so he couldn't communicate, he had no social skills, uh, he really struggled um, and from, from day one they put things in place. It's just been absolutely fantastic with him, I mean he's, it, it's enabled him to stay in mainstream. If, if it weren't for this school then I'm pretty sure he'd have had to go somewhere else. So outdoor education is a really big part of uh, our whole ethos here at Goldthorpe Primary School and Alfie uh, and children like Alfie have been a big part of that, uh, accessing uh, the farm where we can handle the chickens and guinea pigs and things like that to plant in our own vegetables that go into our school dinners and it, you know we're nurturing this sort of compassion, confidence, self-esteem and things like that to really grow them as individuals uh, which you know links to confidence in the classroom and speech and things like that because we're always promoting questioning and you know 
bring them out of the cell so they can feel free to talk.